Okay, I guess we're on round three of this machine now, trying to get the uh, oil leaks to stop without taking the engine out of the machine. On this round, I'm actually going to take apart the valley, move it down to where the uh, PCV valve um, goes into the block, and we'll reseal it there with uh, some RTV. I also picked up some of this. This is actually a two-part engine sealer. This will probably go in the engine no matter what, even if I do the um, seal of the RTV. But I gotta let the RTV sit for a few days so before I go and start the engine. So as you can see, it's in the garage. It's gonna sit in here till tomorrow. It probably won't get started tomorrow, but it's gonna sit in here till tomorrow most indefinitely. And I'm going to tear down the top of the engine, get it sealed, and possibly get the top of the engine put back together. I'm hoping to do all of this with out removing the flywheel cover without having to remove the engine i really don't want to remove this engine i haven't got any advice on uh, if the engine swap is doable on this if it's a direct swap um, putting the uh, vanguard in this machine i don't have time to do a vanguard swap right now maybe if it's more involved so i got other projects coming up and on the go so we're going to try yet again a quick fix, but I am going to definitely try a little bit more of a preventative maintenance by resealing that uh, seal on top of the engine. Once I get into it, I will do a uh, video of what I'm doing. Um, just it'll be probably a part two of this, or I'll add it on to the end of this video here in editing. Also, when I do end up putting the sealer in here, I will do a video of that as well. Of will it work sort of thing. So that's a quick update on this. Yet again, we're going to tear, but this time we're going to actually tear right into the engine. Last time I just took the valve covers off. They're good now, but we're still getting a lot of oil coming out. There's nothing on the really on the floor right now. There's a couple little drops because it didn't really build up any oil pressure. Bring it in here and it's pretty much out of oil at the moment anyways. So it's definitely a uh, leak on the pressure side, but where on the pressure side, hopefully I can soon find out. So I'll talk to you later. Please keep red neck like always, and uh, please comment like always.